When was the last time you got something in the post and the packaging was an experience in itself? Was it thoughtful, beautiful, ingenious? Packaging is way more important than you know. Let's unpack this. Blue dude. Blue moon. Kinda mysterious, shaded by someone I'm not really into. Do you need to fix it? Have you ever come across a memorable product that sticks with you because of the packaging it came in? What was different about the packaging that made it noticeable and memorable? For many businesses, packaging is a cost, but also an opportunity. Whether you like it or not, the very first interaction that your customer has with your physical product is through your packaging. It speaks of your quality, your brand and your story. So it's important to ensure that your packaging is in line with the kind of brand you want to be. There are some interesting and important things to consider about your brand and your packaging. Great packaging might be the key difference between your product and your competitor's product. Think for a moment about the last time you were in a shop and you had to choose between two brands. How much of your decision was influenced by the branding and packaging that the product came in? Jewelry is a luxury or premium purchase, so your branding and packaging needs to reflect this to ensure that your customers are gaining a premium experience and want to come back for more. Everything about the experience has to justify the purchase and make them feel good about it. Jewelry is also often given as a gift to somebody else, so it's good to keep this in mind. Having gorgeous packaging is an easy and powerful way to ensure your customers have a good experience of your brand so that they want to come back again. videos are everywhere and it's a great way for your customers to easily share their experience of your brand with their followers which can then lead to others wanting to have the same experience as those they admire but if your jewelry is packaged badly they may share it but for all the wrong reasons think about it when Apple releases a new product you will be able to virtually experience what it would be like receiving the new device and easily visualize yourself buying it the whole experience from unboxing to using the device is premium. This leads me on to branding. Great packaging in and of itself is a great marketing tool for your brand. People who enjoyed their purchase will naturally recommend it to their friends and family and word of mouth is a fantastic way of getting your brand name across the market. In terms of packaging materials, it's important to consider the environmental implications of your packaging. A pro carbon study found that 75% of customers stress the desire to receive eco-friendly packaging and that is constantly growing. Most people now know that polystyrene is terrible for the environment and would feel guilty receiving a package that contained it and most likely not to want to return to that company. And with so many great alternatives at hand, the packaging world has been changing. Think about plastic versus cardboard or paper for example, which would you rather choose? Nowadays, there are so many alternatives that are recyclable, biodegradable, or made from renewable materials. For example, you can easily jazz up a simple cardboard box by adding your own logo, some recycled tissue paper, or invest in a shredder that you can feed with any old paper you no longer need to create a fully eco-friendly package. And believe it or not, people are actually willing to pay a bit extra for recycled alternatives. People nowadays are more and more aware of their environmental impact and are actively working towards reducing it. 
I personally use recycled jewelry boxes with an insert that's made from recycled old parts of cars in a recycled mailbox. As one of my jewelry brand's pillars is to be as eco-friendly as possible, it's important to me that every aspect of the customer experience upholds this value. This may not be as important to you and your brand, but whatever it is that makes your brand special needs to be reflected in its packaging. If, for example, you make jewelry for teens, then your packaging needs to appeal to their sensibilities. And if you are a wedding jewelry designer, then you would need to focus on what someone would like to experience when making a purchase with you to ensure that your packaging holds the same feeling. If you take one thing away from watching the video today, is that your packaging is an important and powerful part of your customer's brand experience and it should reflect the values of your brand. That's it for this video, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in another video next week. Be like that.